Reforestation. That's a, good, that's a good word. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. Uh, I don't think good, maybe good reforestation. Oh, that's fine. Great. Thank you so much. This is uh, just great. We can all go home now. You you know everything. Now let's uh, add a few comments to to each of them. Um, you have uh, the first group here as. Uh, identified uh, by mode mainly, C, CO2 emissions, water damage, meaning oil uh, spills to water, uh, ship uh, production, so it's uh, environmental problems related to producing of vessels, is that it? Or? Yes. Oh, no, sorry, <laughs> that, there you are, yeah. Um, okay, um, oil spills, yeah. And then the road transport, nature, fuel, street road damage, accidents. Accidents, we, well, it's normally treated when we talk about sustainable transport. But when you talk about environmental problems, maybe, maybe not. So there's a small distinction there. CO2 emissions, definitely. Rail could have CO2 emissions in two forms, either directly, uh, if it's a diesel uh, train, or indirectly, if it's uh, electric power produced from fossil fuels. Noise, definitely, that's uh, in particular a problem with the speedy trains, the, the high-speed trains, they, they are quite noisy. Deforestation, rail damage, yeah. Could question whether this is uh, an environmental problem. Electricity, um, and that's also part of the solution here. Uh, as long as it's uh, produced from uh, renewable resources, as windmills, solar energy, water power. Um, and then air uh, costs per unit. What do you mean by that? The problem is that it's very expensive to uh, transport something. Okay. So it's yeah. But uh, the environmental problems would be noise, CO2 emissions, and uh, of course it's space uh, both in, in the air and for airports. Technology is mentioned as a solution uh, here, both for road and, and sea. And um, this is also mentioned by the second group, to build greener maybe, that's probably a technology thing. Um, do you have been slightly more specific on the emissions, mentioning the sulfur oxides uh, on this side. Um, increased traffic, traffic is a problem, leading to environmental problems. Um, better roads. Let's stop a little bit with that. Why is this um, a remedy, uh, 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 something that would improve the environment? Mm -hmm. Okay, so improved capacity to prevent uh, cars idling or emissions, yes. Is it, if, if we improve the roads and improve the capacity of the road network, would that lead to less emissions, you think, in general? Now, why is it, there could be at least a question mark there, why is that? What could happen? that works the other way around. I, I realize that if you have a lot of queuing and a lot of congestion on the roads, that you could improve things by getting the cars moving. But what, what kind of effect could work against that on the total? More, more cars, exactly. And this is what happen, uh, happens typically if you improve the road network, there is more traffic generated from the improvement. So 
if it's not combined by some sort of restrictions. Higher um, taxes, tolls, um, something like that. It, the total would tend to be more emissions rather than less. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you can, yes, yes, and that could be one way of improving the network, which might have a positive effect. Okay, uh, emission regulations is mentioned as uh, as a remedy here, and uh, I think we mentioned that a little bit the, the, uh, last time. It could be in two forms, basically, either through the market, market-based incentives, or or direct regulations. Now. The last group, um, deforestation, is mentioned here as uh, as a problem, and uh, it it uh, is definitely uh, something that has been related to environmental problems. Uh, how is it related to transport? Uh, we are just thinking about uh, um, uh, to build sea, you know, or build road to the. Okay. To the yes. So, so you destroy forest areas for building transport infrastructure, yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, you could also have a problem which was more prominent, at least in Europe, uh, some decades ago. Uh, the problem with sulfur emissions from the industry mainly, which also, but also from transport, which led to trees dying, actually. So you could have that kind of deforestation as well. And of course, deforestation means a lower capacity to deal with CO2 emissions, for instance. Okay, oil spills, biodiversity could uh, be a problem, uh, and waste from both. Yeah, and I think those of you who mentioned whether it gets better or worse, it's not so much, it, it's only this group, and then I think. And it's getting worse. Is that the, the overall image on everything? Or is there something that's getting better? That there's something called better new here. I'm not quite sure what it means. No, new boats and worse because we have Okay, boats. all right. But are there any problems in particular that you think are getting better? Um, which has been sort of, not, maybe not solved, but has been dealt with. Yes. They reduce um, the speed of the ships, so they um, need, more, um, need less. Um, okay, yeah. Slow steaming of vessels. Um, if it. Yes? The ships you have um, a better engine. Okay. All right. More, um, yes, yes. We'll come back to that later on today. Um, when you talk about road transport, then, road freight transport, what has happened? Yeah. yeah, and, and the engines and, uh, and the regulations of engine emissions, uh, at least in Europe and many other and, and many other parts of the world, uh, has become more and more strict. So some of the problems have been dealt with to some degree, uh, and we'll come back to that as well. That's in particular uh, emissions of NOx and, and sulfur and so on from land-based modes. Okay. Um, I think we should take a break now and then we'll approach it slightly more systematically after the break. Thank you so much.